welcome in welcome back to the channel guys yes get a phone call this morning guess what came in guys uh y'all know the challenger from hell with the unexplainable problems <laughs> to this day guys even with all the research i have done in the past now i've been waiting about three days for these parts but the whole time i'm waiting i'm still in suspense mode like i still don't know what could cause that now remember i told y'all i did an update video just to alert you that you can get the abs connector by itself in the beginning i thought you had to get the complete uh you had to get the whole harness okay the whole body harness all right that was not factually true okay you can however what you see right here you can't just get the connector now i gotta get this car in the shop there's no way i can fix this outside to even drive it in the shop so i'm gonna be forced to um pull it in the shop yes i have to you know see this connector i'm out to i'm out to get a wiring diagram guys okay this is not i mean some of these wires are different gauges than the other so i'm sure the thick gauge wire or the heavier gauge wires for power source and grounds i don't know uh but i gotta make this uh look right now as far as this damn abs module i wonder is it just the module or the hydraulic unit and the module some of them you can't get just the module but this is not heavy enough yeah this is light enough to be a just a module all right so good i didn't want to deal with hydraulic the hydraulic unit you know dealing with the fluid and having to bleed it and all that stuff that's no big deal but i just don't want to deal with all that so I'm glad you can get just the module. Now, guys, think about this for a second. Y'all know uh, the pictures that I, or the video that I did, this is, uh, like, this exploded in here. Guys, I read all the comments, okay, on both videos. One guy was talking about maybe a capacitor exploded. One guy, I think Stevie B, I can't remember. I don't want to call names. I might mess something up, but moisture may have gotten in here one guy was talking about uh, maybe a ground I, guys i've i've read them all i tried to dissect them all i i still it's still like unexplainable okay but at any rate what i was told from headquarters <laughs> just shut up and make the repair or not so much shut up but you know get the repair made and uh because that's the only how you don't how you gonna know what to prevent it from happening again right i don't know okay i'm just going this is fairly easy to rip like i say three screws um yeah bzz, bzz, bzz. and the hardest part of this whole job is splicing in making the connections between here and here and guys all we can do all i can do is make the connection hopefully the car will start because i will be getting my brake signal and uh, go drive it and see what happens. One guy even suggested maybe they cross jump the battery. Remember, guys, uh, in the beginning, the first video, there was some jumper cables in the back, as if somebody needed a boost. Who knows? Like nothing off the table. You know, it's what I'm saying. So I'm not gonna waste a lot of time. I gotta get this car pulled in. And I'm not gonna. I'll set the camera, but I don't think I'm gonna film every little wire that I do. Y'all get the pin point of what I'm about to do. As long as you understand what I'm about to do. And let's just simply make a repair to the broken parts that's on the car. All right. I've talked enough. Let me get this car in and uh, we're going to see what, what happens. We'll see what happens next. Stay tuned. Alrighty, guys. First thing we want to do, man, let's get this thing started. Okay. Let's get this job started. First thing I want to do is get this ABS module off of the ABS hydraulic unit. Okay. It's just held on by three boats, guys. Three T25, uh, I want to say. Got one on the top and two on the bottom. All right, let's actually see if we got enough room to clear it. We might be just fine. Slowly. Uh oh I'm getting some resistance guys oh it's cause it's hung up down here 
Come on, baby. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know, guys. Look at that. Mm. I want this on a rag. I want this on a clean rag so I can analyze these parts. All right, guys. Still kind of in dis disbelief as far as not knowing what's caused this. All right. We'll analyze this later, guys. For now, I got to get this part on the car and like I say keep my look at it it even busted up right here like it just pop we're gonna take this apart but for now let me get it uh let me get the parts replaced guys so now from this angle I can bring this harness all the way up and start the harness replacement therapy <laughs> yeah we'll just call it the wiring replacement therapy all right so let me grab my pliers my electric cutters and things like that and we're gonna get started guys let's get it I've got the new connector and wiring terminals put into the new connector. Now guys, I don't know if you noticed this, but all the wires and pins that was not damaged, uh, I ended up just using the whole, using that complete harness or using that complete wiring. Okay, it doesn't make no sense to, you know what I'm saying? But you could, you got to be careful with that because you could inadvertently, like you don't know if the spike came from one of these terminals and it's not seen with the naked eye <laughs> this is just I, I don't know i don't think that happens that's why i went ahead and went this route okay yes if you talk to an engineer or something they would much rather have you just do them all but it seems like unnecessary work to me so i only end up splicing in new wiring from all of these because these was damaged that's the only reason why i did it now i'm gonna finish building this connector later in fact there's nothing else left i'm just gonna tape 
make this look professional put this on here and put this the way it is and plug it in and see if i have my start back i'm, I'm gonna put the new abs module in first i might have to initialize it i'm not sure well i'll just find out just see if it crank anyway okay guys i'm still perplexed i'm still at a loss with this okay because all i did was made a repair as far as did you fix the problem if somebody asks me did you fix the problem what was the problem i would have a hard time answering that okay again because <laughs> i do not know what in the world caused this now when we get some free time guys we're gonna i'm gonna bust this open even when i get in it i'm still not gonna know what i'm looking for i'm not a circuitry circuit board type guy look at that it's like something called a fire this could have just actually internally you know what i'm saying and i'm getting a new one of these anyway so i might fix the problem by replacing this anyway unfortunately it burned up the connector so i'm gonna proceed with a what they told me to do just replace this in the connector and let's see what happened guys so let me make some final uh final preparation to see if this thing even crank all right Ooh, ready, guys i got the connector mm, got everything on here look at this guys brand new abs module and brand new connector all right um uh, now what we interested in I know I'm going to have to initialize it, but right now, let me see if it'll crank. Remember, this the whole original complaint on this was a no start, no crank. Let's see. Do I have cranking back? All right. Alrighty. Uh, where's my key? Key right here, presence. Feet on the brake. All right, guys, cross your fingers. Look at that. Boom! It is running, guys. I have my crank back. Yes, I'm inspecting the ABS and all that stuff to be on. But guys, it was all about the input for the brakes. Okay, the brake has to be pressed to allow ground signal to go to the starter relay. No brake press, no start, no crank. As simple as that. No brake, no crank. And I lost my brake because the module had exploded. Again, I have merely made a repair. What fixed this car? is a physical brand new abs module and a connector replacement what caused the abs module to fail guys i'm gonna be honest with you it could have been as just a spike internal or it could have been where they jumped it off in the trunk to tell you the truth i don't know if we'll ever know the answer to that okay i'm gonna get with engineers and see if they can come up with some kind of explanation because i like to i hate to leave you guys hanging now me i work on commission so my sole interest is to get it in get it fixed and get it out and move on to the next car but i have a a different uh agenda you know what i'm saying I, I want you guys to understand what happened now and i do not know what caused that module to explode <laughs> i mean for all we know the module i just put on it could explode all right what what can we do, fellas? I mean, any suggestion? There's the module. There's no. Uh, I can merely open it up. But what we going What are we looking for? When I open it up, there's no screws even holding this back cover off. See, this is just, just a circuit plastic. board. What are we looking for? Is there any way I can uh take this cover off? No, there's no screws holding this. Something blew up. Uh, I don't know. I literally, really. Well, I got a screw right. No, that's not even a screw. And even when I get in it, what am I looking for? I'm not an electrician. I'm not a computer board electrician. This thing just merely exploded. Fellas, guys, uh, fix it. 1975, uh, uh, 69 Dark Man, um, Uncle Mark, you guys, everybody. I, mean, I don't want to call names, but everybody. I know y'all was waiting on answers. I literally have no answer for you as to why, as to what caused this to explode like this did i fail you i don't know uh <laughs> i have i don't know i'm not an elect i don't know but is the car fixed right now it starts to run what i gotta go do now is initialize it and i can deliver the car to the customer so technically i have fixed the car the hardest part i'm having with it now is explaining like say for instance the customer called me i want to speak to the guy that worked on my car Hey, man, what was wrong, man? What happened? Well, your ABS module exploded internally, and that damaged the connector. Okay. Uh, what do y'all think the next question is going to be out of his mouth? Well, 
Young Buck, <laughs> you know, they like to call me Young Buck. What do you think caused that, man? What happened? My friend, I have no idea. And then I'm going to look like a total unprofessional idiot, right? Uh, because I have no I have no explanation. And, and some customers really want to hear this. They want to hear directly from the mechanic. I get that all the time. JT, come to the front just to speak with a customer. Because they don't, it's not that they don't trust the, you know, manager or anything like that. They manager have a hard time explaining it. And in this case, I'm going to have a hard time explaining it. Like I'm having a hard time explaining it to y'all. But at the end of the day, the car is fixed. Would the customer be happy? Yes, because this car is fixed. With this problem, will it come back as a recheck a week from now? Same thing. <sighs> I don't know. Then now it's becoming an engineer problem. I didn't build this thing. I just in place to repair this thing or work on this thing. Okay. So I'm about to end this video on that note, fellas. Uh, I don't know what to make of this, but uh, the car is fixed. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Uh, let me put all this back together and I'll see you guys on the next video.